Hello, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Another hot day at the off-grid homestead, but uh, pretty much clear and sunny skies. And I'm just inside. See the solar panel panels are in full sunlight right now. They are angled right at the sun. And I have full direct peak sunlight right now. And I'm only getting 200 watts out of 470 watts of solar. So as I had feared, this wire is too thin and it is hot to the touch. This is hot. So I'm losing 50% of my power through these wires right now. The heat is my energy being wasted in heat. My energy is being converted to heat and being given off into the air. 50% of my energy gone right there. So I am definitely, definitely getting new wires on payday. So this is no good at all. No good. I knew it wouldn't be good with the lower voltages that I'm using now. And this definitely confirms this is really hot. It's all wasted energy. And I'm very happy I decided not to hook up three panels or I would have burnt this wire and I'd have nothing. So only 200 watts of power coming in through those wires right now. That's it. The rest is burnt off in heat energy. 200 watts of, uh, 270 watts of power is being wasted in heat. So it confirms my thoughts and uh, definitely reinforces the fact that I'm going shopping on payday. Now over here, I've got... By the way, since the chickens are in, I uh, leave the picket fence open, the gate open for now. There's nothing to, uh, nothing to stop from running through there. I got my little bit of a camp here. Um, Bison from Buggin' In was over and we were using these chairs the other day, so for now they're just useful. I have a bit of an experiment going on here, side by side. I've got the Sunjack folding solar panel, which I've had for a while and done a review on. Charging its, I'm charging the Sunjack um, waterproof LED light, which I'm going to finish that review up here soon. And um, I've got the Sunjack battery pack which comes with the folding solar panel charging up been using them heavily in the tiny house on wheels uh, the LED light being my main light in, in the evenings most of the time and the battery pack being used for portable charging of devices on the road and I've got the Sun Tactics folding solar panel opened up and charging a PowerEd 10 amp uh, USB solar battery ops battery pack um, these are hot. I'm telling you, this is scorching hot to touch right now. Yeah, I can't really hold my hand on that. It is kicking the power. Direct full sunlight. So, I also have my meter on here. It's hard to, hard to see it while it's charging. Um, it's 0.6 amp at 4.80 volts. 0 0.60 amp at 4.90 volts. So it varies, probably because I, I moved it. 4.80. I can't tell. The sun is so bright, I can't really tell if that's... No, it's 4.9. It's 4.90. But uh, it's hard to see, really. Anyway, the heat is really scorching everything. That is hot to the touch. That's probably glitching out because it's so hot. It is really, really hot and humid. And it's really taking its toll on the um, that meter as well. But, I'm uh, doing a head-to-head -head here and testing some things out, just um, seeing what I like better, and uh, do a little bit of friendly competition here. So, I'll take you on over and show you what I'm doing in the uh, workshop tent. Now, these panels are coming into full sunlight soon, and uh, very soon I'll be pulling in power through the MPBT solar charge controller from three panels. Well, the sun is down and my little meter is beeping, meaning that the voltage is too low to sustain life. Uh, 4.11, it was 4.39 a second ago. Funny, when I tipped it. 4.32, yeah, it's not directed in, into the sun. But, it is, uh, yeah, it's putting out no current at all. No charging current. So it's just uh, beeping away and warning me that there's no charging going on. 
voltage is too low to sustain life. And this one here has stopped charging at four bars. So let's go ahead and wait. But no, no, it is still charging. It was still for a minute. It is charging. So I'll let that keep going for a while until it stops. So it looks to me like... I'm going to try the meter on this one and see what the difference is. 4.10 4 4.09, 4 4.10 0.02 amps of charge. Okay, so really no charging current going on. Uh, the light on here was occasionally showing a charge. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But it's pretty much done. Well, anyway, I uh, pretty much charged up my devices today. Let me see what we have here. Uh, no, that one's not done either. They're almost done, but they need a little tiny bit of a top off yet. And this one over here is charged. So, oh well, I'll do continue uh, running these side by side for a few days and see how they uh, they compare up with each other.